A new push today coming from the White House to donate plasma, if you, plasma rather, if you have recovered from the coronavirus. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares how the antibodies in it are making a difference in a lot of different ways. Hey guys, hello to you. Right now, if you've recovered from the virus, you likely have antibodies in your blood. For those antibodies to help others, you need to donate plasma or what they call convalescent plasma. Once that happens, those antibodies can be used in everything from treatment to perhaps prevention. From those who collect convalescent plasma at donation sites. We still are asking people to make appointments whenever possible. To those who have had the coronavirus and donated their own plasma. In my heart, I imagine it's going out to, to lots of patients. The push for plasma these days has never been more vocal or vital. As a result of these initiatives, we've already treated nearly 50,000 patients with plasma. Roughly 2 million Americans have fully recovered from the virus. This afternoon, I'm asking the citizens to go to the coronavirus.gov. It's coronavirus.gov and volunteer to donate plasma as soon as you can. We have a lot of people that would heal, would get better. That's because inside plasma is what Eli Lilly is currently studying now in its next phase of trials, antibodies. The company announced this week that they are recruiting nursing home residents and staff in hopes of helping those hardest hit by this pandemic. They hope their therapy will offer protection and ease symptoms in those infected. The trial will determine if a single dose reduces the rate of infection over a month. It will also determine if it can reduce COVID-19 complications over two months. And it wasn't clear ex where I caught the virus, um, so it's, you know, it could have been community spread or it could have been in the hospital. As for other uses, the National Institutes of Health looking at antibodies to see if they might stop infection if exposed. This might work much in the same way a rabies shot would work if you got bitten by, say, a raccoon. Now, part of the reason that there is a push for plasma right now is that they can use this right now, which as we're headed for flu season might mean there'd be a treatment before we have a vaccine available for use. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you. Thank you, Liz. Hey, we want you